namaste kings and queens thank you for gracing my channel your presence is such a presence so it's only right that i reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages i'm sending you all peace healing love and prosperity also health and wealth if you're new welcome to my channel i appreciate your energy if you're returning welcome back spiritual family you know what's up <laughs> Before I get into this reading, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you leave a beautiful comment down below. Do not forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading, all right? This is going to be um, a post-weekend reading, okay? I'm going to be a little nosy, all right? So this could be for you um, if you and your person are not talking, you're not in communication, you're in separation. And you're wondering what did they have going on during the weekend we're gonna hop in and see what's up before I get into the reading though make sure you guys check out my last video in regards to my giveaway and in regards to the July special which I will be doing free one question readings all July okay if you are interested please email me divine at gmail.com all right if you're interested in the giveaway Oh, if you're interested in the giveaway, make sure you comment on that video why you're interested. Also, comment sunflowers, all right, to support your girl. Mm, my detox spray fails, so I feel like that was um, a nudge to have me spray a little bit, cleanse the energy. All right. Collective. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, don't let me go. Hold on, hold on. Hey, I keep hearing that. So hold on, hold on, don't let me go. Tiana Taylor been playing crazy. So it's somebody that is, is either holding on to you or you're holding on to somebody. But I do not feel that it's in a toxic manner. I feel like it's in a... I love you. I am in love with you. I want this to work. Hold on, hold on. Hey, I wish I can play it right now, but that's a beautiful song. You could also be missing somebody at this time. I'm getting a best friend energy. That's my best friend. Yeah, like some of you guys could be even in separation with a good friend, a close friend. All right, somebody you call your sis or your bro, and you guys are just not seeing eye to eye right now okay um some of you guys could have done a lot of releasing in regards to people places or things things in your life during this uh full moon this past full moon all right let me see oh i had a couple more i'm embracing my natural body be aware of scams retrograde shit. okay so I got a download in regards to embracing your natural body. I don't know. This this is for my divine feminines or for my feminines. Embracing your natural body, your natural being, your natural state is very important. Loving you, understanding why God created you the way that you are is very significant. All right. I get an energy of wanting to alter your body. All right. This was also for me too because I've I've also had thoughts of wanting to get like a boob job or a BBL after I had my son you know just because I nursed him for 10 months um and yeah but I feel like I have not even given myself enough time to allow my body to go back to its natural state so I feel like I'm this is for somebody else too that you're not allowing yourself to see the results and see how resilient your body is divine feminine all right so give it some time all right do anything possible that is natural for you to really see strong results strong results in regards to your natural body all right i don't know who that's for also the scamming shit be aware it's a lot of scamming shit going on right now all right um could have been just in regards to the retro retrograde okay People still are scamming, trying to get over, all right, trying to steal profiles and shit like that. So just be aware and, and hang tight to like your, your credit cards, your IDs, your social and things like that, all right? 
So anyways, those are the downloads. Let's go ahead and hop in in regards to this post weekend energy. Um, see what was up with your person. See what they had going on, right? Holy Divine Spirit. Oh, please provide me energy in regards to the collective's person. What did they have going on over the weekend? Thank you. Okay. Mm. So there was definitely a decision or a back and forth, um, an indecisiveness in regards to letting something go. All right. In regards to coming clean with letting something go, um, laying their burdens down. All right. I do see this person could have been spending time with an air sign. I do see some Netflix and chill here. Um, I'm also seeing some like some type of recovery. I'm also getting, um, <laughs> wow. As soon as I say recovery, five of pentacles with the star card in reverse. Wow. So somebody definitely could have found out they were sick or somebody is currently trying to heal from an illness. Could be mental, physical, emotional illness. All right. But there's somebody definitely that was left out in the cold with the ten of swords, two of swords, four of swords, all these swords. A lot of swords here. Six of pentacles. Hmm. Your person could have been left out in the cold. Okay. If they decide to go towards someone else other than you. I feel like this person turned them down. Could have been an Aquarius. All right. Yeah. With the Six of Pentacles, they chose to give somebody else their, their weekend lover. I'm hearing by Jamie Foxx. If, if some of you have been experienced your partner not being available during the weekend, they definitely have a weekend lover. Um, I feel like, yeah, this is something that they're creeping out. They're creeping out. Are they creeping outside of their home and they're giving to another situation here? All right. Um, I feel like with the seven of pentacles, though, this person is tired of this. Whoever they were sneaking out with or sneaking with. All right. They've invested in your person, though, but they see that they're still juggling. They're, they, they see that they're still going back and forth in regards to you. All right. Yeah, we have the uh, queen of swords. Could be an air sign. Gemini, uh, Aquarius or Libra. Yeah, then we have the Two of Cups, the Divine Connection, Soulmate Connection. All right. I want to see what's going on with this Star card in reverse. Why is the Star card in reverse? Three of Cups. Yep. Definitely some third party bullshit happened. Um, they could have been out partying, could have got really sick. All right. From drinking. I'm also getting uh, alcohol poisoning. All right, so your person could be recovering today from a very hard and uh, I'm getting their weekend was really busy. I'm getting their weekend was very, um, they were drinking a lot, partying a lot, a lot of music, okay, a lot of sexual intercourse here, all right. But I feel like something came to an end. Something didn't, didn't end well with the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? With the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords here. Somebody came into, somebody had clarity during sex. Like, oh my, why am I doing this? Why am I having sex with this person? Yeah, Six of Cups here. Could have been with somebody from their past. All right. I'm also getting the energy of sex was interrupted by ch children. Somebody was having sex what, with kids right in the next door here. Yeah. And then your person left or the person they were doing this with left. They was putting in work too. I mean, they was going in. I feel like sexual a sexual encounter was interrupted by a child's cry. Like somebody somebody's child woke up. Four of Pentacles, but they, the, whoever they were with, their person wanted them to stay. They didn't want them to leave. Okay. Could have been a Pisces. We have the high priestess, but your person was like, nah, I gotta go. Why is the five of Pentacles here? <laughs> Why is the five of Pentacles? Somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant in regards to this weekend. Wow. We have the, we have the 
Queen of Pentacles and the Death card here. Wow. For the Five of Pentacles. So I definitely do think that your person could have made a solid offer to this Queen of Pentacles, but they were left out in the cold. Like they ended it. They ended it with your person or your person is ending it with this Queen of Pentacles. But why? Nine of Pentacles. So they want to remain single. They want to remain doing what they do. They want to remain um, being frivolous and being free. All right. They feel more abundant when they're free, when they're single. They don't want to be tied down. All right. They could be... Um, wanting to offer something to a Scorpio or an earth sign, but they're a heartbreaker. They're, they're heartbreaker. You got the best of me. This person knows nothing else but to be a heartbreaker. Even if they get their heartbreak, what's the six of pentacles? I feel like this came back out. Yeah. Three of wands with the three of swords in the three of cups is out here. Definitely third party energy definitely you know breaking a lot of hearts meeting a lot of new people a lot of one night stands i'm seeing here with the star card in reverse i don't think that this is going to end well i don't think that it's going well currently all right there's yeah we'll pull more on that energy what's the four of wands some of you could live with this person all right i'm, I'm also getting energy a lot of you are pulling back, going towards someone else, going towards um, something a little more stable, a little more passionate, a little more forgiving, all right? A little more loving, all right? Somebody who has time for you, all right? Somebody who's offering you a genuine cup of love here, all right? Yeah, because you're in your head about this. Eight of, eight of Swords and the Devil card. A lot of you know your person was up to something over the weekend. A lot of you know that they were involved in a lot of toxicity, um, a lot of drug intake, a lot of alcohol use. Um, I'm getting snorting. I'm getting popping pills. Okay. Um, a lot of you worry about this person. What's the seven of pentacles? Why is the seven of pentacles here? A lot of you could have invested. Yeah. Eight of wands in reverse. You're pulling back. You're no longer communicating with this person. You're not communicating with this person, but you do care. You are worried. All right. You do want to make sure they're okay. Um, Let's see, is this person okay, Holy Spirit? Seven of Cups in the Hierophant. Yep, they're fine. They're fine. They're healing. They're recuperating. They're rejuvenating their energy, and then they're going to get back out there and do it all over again. Hierophant with the Seven of Cups. They have so many options, all right? I'm hearing they can't stop now. I'm hearing they can't stop now. But you're the Empress here. You're the empress. Know your worth, I'm hearing. All right. Let's pull some other energy. Let's see. Facing through people on TV screens, you've been every. Yeah, you fantasize about this person. A lot of you wish you were with this person during the week. Over the weekend. All right. But this person was wilding out. I'm talking wilding the fuck out. All right. Additional messages. In regards to the collective person. During the weekend. We have boat. <laughs> Receiving what you need. Progressing. Arriving. Okay. Moving on. Closure issues. Yeah. A lot of you are having issues moving forward hence the reason why you're watching this video you you what you wonder about this person you want to know how they're doing all right you want to make sure they're healing properly with the healing heart all right for some of you you probably used to being there for your person and healing them after a drunken night all right we have lightning sudden change shocking news surprise upheaval some of you guys are going to get some news in regards to this person some of you guys may get a phone call something went wrong i'm also getting the energy of a fight broke out we have heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together open your heart to new love collective i just did a reading on new love we have wedding rings union wedding uh married soul contract eternal love there's eternal love here for you we have love call but it's in reverse i don't take these in reverse but with love call in reverse i feel like this person is going to try to call some of you you're not going to take it 
Yeah, and it, it came back out in the upright. So some of you will. It, you know, it's different for all of you. Give me additional messages in regards to their person, to the collective person over the weekend. We have trust there. So some of you guys need to trust your intuition or trust the fact that this could be over. Trust the fact that this person may very well not be for you. Or, let's see. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, but it came out in reverse, all right? So for a lot of you, your romantic feelings are, are slowly dwindling from this person because you see that they are getting deeper and deeper into toxicity. Yeah, we have express your love, okay? Go ahead and, and make the romantic gesture here. Spirit is calling for some of you to go ahead and make, um, make a romantic gesture towards someone new. Or again, there could be someone new coming towards you. All these are coming up in the reverse, okay? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, all right? But it came out in reverse. Reconciliation. Some of you guys will be reconciling with this person. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Someone from your past life, you've known this person before. And then we have separation. So for a lot of you, you are in separation with your your soulmate, with your person, all right, with your with someone that you have a soul contract with. But there will be a reconciliation here, all right? After this separation, for some of you, you will very well take this person back. All right. Then we have worth, excuse me, worth waiting for. All right. Divine timing is at work in your love life. A lot of you feel like this is divine. This is divinely. <sighs> this is divine timing. For some of you, you feel like. But there is a need for separation. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. All right. So again, if you're watching this video, uh, most likely you're in separation with your person. Um, this is very much needed. All right. Before reconciliation. All right. Get your thoughts together, collective. Understand and realize what it is that you really want to do. Yeah. Because a lot of you walked away. And sometimes you... you it's what's needed, all right, in order for you to heal and in order for you to allow room for what is really for you to come in. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Hold on, hold on, don't let me go. Okay, I'm hearing that again. Yeah, some of you guys are gaining clarity in regards to walking away from this person. All right, in regards to finding clarity from within. All right, seeing this, seeing the bigger picture here. High Priestess, all right. With the uh, Ace of Swords. Come on now, tap into your intuition, all right? Listen to your divine call, all right? Listen to what your higher self is is telling you, all right? Walk away. This person is toxic. I'm going to get one last card on this energy here, all right? What's this right here? Six of Wands came back out. And if you walk away, it's going to be successful, victorious. You're going to get the attention that you deserve, okay? I feel like a lot of you are going to attract a high priestess or a high priest. I do see maybe a, a Pisces coming in for you. Or it could be a fire sign. But you deserve to be in the limelight. I feel like th with this person doing all this, running around, leaving you hanging, leaving you out in the cold. Yeah, there's going to be a tower moment to take place. Look, Ten of Cups in reverse. This person is bad news, all right? And they're going to block your blessings, okay? Oh, yeah, my ears are ringing. They're, they're, they're going to block your blessings. Yes, look, seven of wands. Block this person out, collective, and do you. And don't think twice about it, all right? So that's what I have for you. Um, I hope this helps. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Ashe.